Hey family, um, Saturday morning. I want to give you a different kind of nugget for today. L let's call this one a um, a mission nugget. Something just to remind you of what what we're actually here for. Jesus says in Luke 19 and verse number 10, for the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which is lost. Have you ever lost anything? In particular, have you ever lost your keys? You know how frustrating that is? Um, I lose mine all the time, and it's the same same process every single time. Everybody's called in, have you seen my keys? We're scouring the house. Um, the house turns into ground zero. We're checking everywhere, crevices, cracks, underneath stuff. We're opening drawers that we know the keys ain't in, but we're looking in there anyway. On top of stuff, behind stuff, um, everybody's coming down. Then, of course, there's a series of questions that come with the same um, objective every single time. When was the last place you had them? Have you retraced your steps? Um, what were they? What do they look like? And then when everybody's frustrated and you've looked everywhere you think you can look, we ask that other question, what well, do you have a duplicate? And we all go through that process. Everybody gets fed up looking for keys. Um, but what I think is interesting is that we do a lot of investing in looking for keys that we have made, but we don't pour that same energy and passion resilience, and even ingenuity into looking for things that God has made. And people are very much like keys. In fact, they're very much like lost keys as well. Number one, they're like keys in that they're all made uniquely. God has fashioned, the creator, fashioned and formed, made them to fit uniquely into certain spaces, to open certain doors, to unlock certain relational benefits to to do things that they were only designed to do but they're also like lost keys lost keys in the sense that they don't know that they're missing from the set they don't know that they're not in the rightful hands of the creator and ironically back to my original statement we pour a lot of energy looking for, scouring the house for keys that man has made. But we don't pour that same energy into looking for the keys that have been fashioned by the hand of the creator. And what I want to challenge us to do is I want us to be about that passion of looking for those that belong to God, looking for the people that are missing from the set missing from the hands of the creator people that are missing from fitting into places that are designed by god for his glory people that are missing from opening doors relational doors purpose doors kingdom doors for being where they're supposed to be so that god can get optimal glory out of their actual reason for existence i think the statement is true and you're going to hear me say this over and over again that for every one of us, there's another one of us just like us waiting to meet us. Let's do our part. Let's be about making the difference. Let's be about helping God find the keys that are missing from his set. I challenge you to do it. You pray for me and I'm going to pray for you to get it done. But go out and encounter somebody today. Go meet somebody. Go help the missing to connect with the rest of the family so that God can get glory, all right? Be about his business. Love you.